unsettled souls and welcome to the correct views. I did not charge this camera after Christmas, so I have about 13 minutes of recording time. So we're gonna fly, shall we? Zoom! Um, this is horrible news, but a surprise to no one. Americans are the most spied on people in the world. This is from Washington's blog. <clears throat> It is confirmed, it is now mathematical fact, we have more spying than the Stasi in East Germany. And for those of you, and here I go, I'm never going to make it in 13 minutes. For those of you that have followed my posts, I have recently developed a more in-depth uh, interest in things leading up to World War II. Um, not so much Hitler and the Nazis and the Jews, what led up to Hitler being elected. And oddly enough... It is a situation just like we are experiencing here, minus the fact that America did not just lose World War I. Uh, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, you, it's so, so much of a history here, I need 13 hours. But basically, Germany was beaten so bad at the end of World War I as a response to them blowing up uh, civilian ships with uh, submarines and whatnot. They were sanctioned so heavily that they voted into power a lunatic named Adolf Hitler, but they didn't know that he was a lunatic. They thought that he was just your garden variety socialist, which is exactly what people voted for Obama for. In a radio interview, Wall Street Journal reporter Julia Angwin, who's been one of the best at covering the surveillance state in the U.S., made a simple observation that puts much of this into context. It says, the U.S. surveillance regime has more data on the average American than the Stasi ever had on East Germans. Indeed, the American government has more information on the average American than Stalin did on Russians, Hitler did on the German citizens, or any other government has ever had on its people. The American government is collecting and storing virtually every phone call, purchase, email, text message, internet searches, social media communications, health information, employment history, travel and student records, and virtually all other information on every American. Now, you're going to ask, how in the world can we stop these things? Well, it's not by bringing in a bunch of new and ridiculous regulations with my next article is going to allude to for a different reason. <clears throat> no. The way to do this is to continue to fight back. Um, stop allowing so much of your own life to deliberately be put on Facebook, by the way. Do you ever notice why you never know where I'm going to be if it's not for a show that my band is in or in a speaking engagement for this show? Because I don't want people knowing where I am 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Most people give this information to the government themselves. And there are things we can do with uh, um, consumer advocacy groups to keep our records safe. But we have to support these people. And for those of you Top 40 fans, that means donate money to people that help with these sorts of things. There are a lot of consumer groups out there, both on the left and the right. So look one up and support it. Uh, Mail Online, sex text epidemic, experts warn sharing explicit photos is corrupting children. Now you all know what I'm going to say, right? Whenever you hear, for the children, it means, screw the adults, and this one's no different. Um, what we need, you see, what we need is more draconian laws looking over our texts. We need more Big Brother, and I'm going to tell you why, because the children are sharing porn with each other. They're showing images of themselves nude at younger and younger ages. You know what? My friends and I, when we were seven or eight, were just like every other boy that's ever lived that found out that he has a penis. And we would show it to anybody and anybody, especially if we thought that it might offend them. So we did. And you know what? I saw girls nude. I saw other boys do it. In the sixth grade, I watched two other seventh graders damn near have sex on a sofa. And you know what? It had absolutely no effect on me at all. Um, the kids are going to do these things. Should they be allowed? No. Should we stop them if we catch them? Yes. Can these things get into the hands of pedophiles? Yes. But this is a matter of parenting. 
this is not a matter of bringing a bunch of ridiculous laws down on American people judging whether or not soon it'll be whether adults can engage in these kinds of things. Maybe if you set up an account, and they do have them, to where the master phone knows what the other people are sending, then that stops it right there. Guys, we already have laws against child exploitation, and I think those laws should be enforced. And we don't need any freaking new ones! Boys and girls as young as 13 routinely swap explicit pictures of themselves, a disturbing investigation reveals today. Of course, they would have never done that in my generation. If we had cell phones, we'd have been little saints. Children are now so sexualized, the practice has become mundane and mainstream. One girl told researchers, I get asked for naked pictures at least two or three times a week. Well, you know what? Maybe your parents should teach you that you now have a red flag in your life to know who the jerks are that you don't ever want to go out with. I mean, girls used to have to dig to find this information out. If the first thing he says to you is he wants to see you nude, right there is a parenting lesson. Shazam, Sparky! The boy said you would have seen a girl's breast before you've seen their face, while another youngster referred to it so-called sexting as the new flirting. Do you remember when Wasp, the band, supposedly it stood for We Are Sexually Perverted? I don't know if it does, Doc. Wasp was going to destroy the world. There's a swear word, swear word coming, warning. Remember the song Animal Fuck Like a Beast? Um, it, it, it's gonna, oh my god, he said the F word and he's talking about sex. You know, does anybody listening to this even remember who Wasp is? I do, anybody else? Yeah, exactly. Um... These things come and go in a kid's life. Hopefully, their parents don't. That's what an education is for. My dad forbade me to listen to Ozzy Osbourne as a child. Well, that didn't work very well because I went to friend's house and guess what I did? Cranked up Ozzy Osbourne and didn't tell him. So then he told me, hey, Black Sabbath is a movie. Hey, this kind of thing is fiction. And you know what? It worked. And you know what? If we survived deadly Ozzy Osbourne, if we survived, oh my god, wasp, we're gonna survive cell phones. Fukushima kids overweight as a risk to exposure to radiation forces kids indoors. Wow, you mean it's not the fact that Bloomberg wasn't there to regulate the size of the Japanese soft drink? Kids in Fukushima Prefecture are becoming increasingly overweight as they are denied daily exercise in schoolyards due to the risk posed by exposure to nuclear radiation in the area government's health reports reveals. Um, I've already done enough reading and I'm running out of time, so I'm going to go ahead and put this into SAM terms. You know, English. This nuclear power plant, that everything is okay. Of course, it went red. We got three reactors melting. Uh, one, or one, at least one probably melted through into the water table. Um, for those of you that don't know, pretty much everything you're going to eat for the rest of your life, you should always check for radiation fallout reports before you do so, and avoid anything from California. Um, ever. This is an ongoing mess, and now they can't even let the kids go out and play. And keep in mind, this happened in March of 11. Kids still can't go out and play. They have been kept indoors to such a degree that now we are seeing them have obesity problems. And for those of you that have a thinking part of your brain left, know that the Orient has very little by way of obesity problems. The problems are coming because they cannot go out and play. Of course they can if they want to be one of the one-third, that is one in three for you Usher fans, one-third of Japanese children have enlarged thyroids, which, in case you are a pumpkin, means that it may morph into cancer. Uh, two more stories I'm going to try to get to if this cuts off. You are listening to the correct views, and it is brought to you by the Arcadia Grill, that is an amazing restaurant in downtown Canton. France bans contested chemical BPA in food packaging. I should have put this on my Christmas report because it was all good news. And uh, people wonder why I'm sitting here talking into a camera. Because we are making a difference. The French Parliament voted Thursday to ban the use of bisphenol A, a chemical thought to have a toxic effect on the brain and nervous system, in baby packaging next year and all food containers by 2015. Uh, I heard 2015, that kind of made me mad, but uh, let's face it, they have to use what they've already made and we can't expect people to make up bottles and they keep them warehouse. Fair enough. The point is... 
BPA is being taken out of everything in France. And France looks like they're about to lead the charge uh, on this in terms of food. They are banning bisphenol A, which is a chemical that is in every single piece of plastic likely that you use to drink or eat out of. It is there. When you nuke something, it leaches into the food. When it's sitting on the shelf, it leaches into whatever it is that it's containing. Bisphenol A is in many uh, metal containers as well, and it can do things such as shut down your liver, mess with your brain chemistry, even mess with your sexuality. It can turn an otherwise straight person into a homosexual, particularly male. And if you don't believe me, just go ahead and look it up. And do me a favor, ask yourself, and I'm not saying that all homosexuals are uh, created, some are born that way, but would you mind telling me why statistically so many people seem to be born that way in countries that have exceedingly high levels of bisphenol A? Hmm, let's think real hard, shall we? Last thing I want to get to, Sun Investigates. City issued speed camera ticket to motionless car. This is in Baltimore, and this is another reason why speed cameras need to be stopped. How? One of the ways is to, to uh, go to the uh, local party store, get some silly string, and spray it right over the, uh, the camera lens. That's one way to do it. The Baltimore City speed camera ticket alleged that the four-door Mazda wagon was going 38 miles per hour in a 25 miles an hour zone, and the owner, Daniel Dottie, owed $40 for the infraction. But the Mazda wasn't speeding. It wasn't even moving. The two photos printed on the citation as evidence of speeding show that the car was idling at a red light, which its brake lights illuminated. A three-second video of the clip, also offered as evidence, shows the car motionless as traffic flows across the street. Uh, for those of you in Baltimore, it's on Northeast Baltimore in the 1700 block of E. Cold Spring Lane at the intersection of Hilly, Hillen Road, Silly string! Um, yeah, I know it's illegal, and you know what? People are going to do it anyway, and I don't care because no one's getting hurt. Um, as a matter of fact, many people are being helped. The city may not be able to pull up behind somebody and steal their rent for nothing. Um, the law says you're not supposed to charge by volume. I don't think we should charge by volume. If any county is, we need to change that program. Um, Xerox spokesman who make the machines, Chris Gilligan, did not address Dottie's citation. He noted in a statement that a system-wide audit of the Baltimore Photo Enforcement Program is, going, is ongoing and has resulted in implementing an additional manual review of citations at all camera locations. I gotta review people, and you know what I'm gonna say as my camera dies. If everybody listening to this refuses to pay any tickets whatsoever, they cannot arrest us all. All of us say no. You can do that by signing a uh, pledge in one state, sending the pledge around to social media sites, getting people on board and sticking by it. You are listening to The Correct Views. My camera is dying. Please donate if you can. Good night and God bless.